In this video we discuss how to combine colors and how to design color palettes for user interfaces. Let's go! The first thing you learn about color combination on any design course is the color wheel. It helps you to find colors that work together. There are several techniques for color combination using the color wheel. For example, you can take complementary colors, those that are opposite on the color wheel. Blue and yellow, for example. Such colors have the biggest color contrast. Or you can take analogous colors. These colors are close to each other on the color wheel. The good news is that you don't have to remember all the color combination techniques that are using a color wheel. There are a lot of free resources where you can generate the color palettes with these techniques automatically. I leave them in the resources to this course. But the problem is, when you generate the colors using a color wheel, they may not work well together. Why is it so? The generators are using the common techniques, but the result is not always satisfactory. To be honest, I am skeptical about color wheel for palette generation. I had to tell you about the wheel because it's one of the most popular rules that is taught on the design courses. But here is why I think it doesn't work well. First, there are so many techniques that it's possible to generate almost any color combination. And if you can generate any color combination, what's the point of these techniques? Second, color wheel techniques focuses on the hue of colors and ignores such important features as saturation and lightness. And these features are even more important to make a good color palette. Look at these palettes, for example. The colors there work together. If I show you a new color, you could probably tell which palette it should belong to. All because unconsciously your brain distinguishes different saturation and lightness. And the third, most important reason why color wheel is not the best tool to create a palette for UI. In most cases, user interfaces use just one accent color and its shades, and then complement it with a set of neutral colors. Look at almost any website or application. Most of them would have one dominant accent color, and it usually corresponds to the brand color. It's easier to build a good visual hierarchy with one color. User interface is not a graphic artwork, it has to solve user problems. When you have one accent color, it's easy to communicate such important interactive elements as buttons or links. Many different colors in interface can create a visual chaos. It's difficult to work with them and stay consistent. And believe me, you can communicate a lot with one color. Look at this example from Material Design Guidelines. They took just one color and used its shades from dark to light. The example is abstract, it doesn't have any real objects, but it still has the visual hierarchy. And here's the example from Inch, the product I was working on. Look, we have just one accent color for interactive and active elements, and neutral colors for everything else. Here is the color palette for Inch. We have the shades of neutral colors, shades of accent brand color, and a brand gradient. But wait, there are more bright colors on the picture. And I've just told you that we are using just one. These secondary accent colors are not used regularly in the interface. They appear only when there is a need to communicate a system status, like attention, warning or success. In the basic design system that goes with this course, you can also find a color palette. It consists of range of neutral colors and accent color and status colors. Notice that neutral colors are not entirely gray, they have a little bit of blue in them. This way interfaces look more interesting. You can change the basic design system as you like. It's just a starting point to save you time on organizational issues. You are welcome to experiment. In this course you can also find the resources with some ready color palettes for UI. Check them out. For your first interface I would advise you to choose just one accent color and a set of neutral colors. Believe me, there is enough room for visual expression. Before moving to more complex color palettes, learn first how to use just one color. Hey, this was video from my free UI design course. Make sure to check the full playlist out and hit the like button and subscribe for more free content about design. Thank you.